Okay, so I was asked a question about how do you make stencils that are multi-layered? So in other words, if you have stencils that the components of it can make up your full picture. Okay, this is something that you used to do back in the day with airbrushing, for example. Um, or if you see it with like regular painting stencils and stuff like that too. But it was done a lot with airbrushing um, and, and messing around with that. So the key to it, to any kind of layered stencil, is registration marks. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say that I have a stencil and it's this tree. Okay. And on this tree, I want to add some stuff to it that, you know, like maybe this is going to be a Christmas tree. Okay. So I put the stencil in here. And you'll notice that I've got four dots here. Okay. Those are my registration marks. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with the phthalo green or just doesn't really matter at all. I'll just grab the green and I'll just throw some green in here real quick. Actually, let me just increase my brush size here. Okay. So I've got those in there. All right. Now I want to add, let's say a layer of snow. Okay. So I can click and I've just put my other stencil on top. Now, when I made these stencils, I made them the exact same size. So by default, it's going to appear the exact same way. Okay. And it's going to be there, but then I could go in here and I could add my snow. Okay. So now I've got that in there. And then if I wanted to go in and add other stuff, I could. But the key thing for doing this, and if you wanted to move these around, is that when you do the first one, or when you do any of these, is for that first one, fill in your registration marks completely. Okay. So now I've got those there. I can take hit backspace, remove that one, backspace, and remove that one. All right. So let's say I wanted to have another stencil that was a star. Well, the registration marks, because these were all made the same, line up perfectly. And then all I have to do is paint in what I want. Okay. I can get rid of it. And, but here's what I wanted to show you too. So let's do T and let's move this over here. Okay. And just hit enter. Okay. Now my last one, let's say I want to put in this ground. Well, my registration marks are over here now. So all I have to do is drag this over and then just line it up with my registration marks. I can just come down here, throw this in here, grab a little of that white, put a little of that in there. Boom. I have all of those lined up. And then all I have to do is I can just take my selection tool, grab these, which I've, I guess I should have set it to uh, else. But anyway, I can do, just go around and delete those. Okay. Now, if I was doing this like this was part of a, of a bigger thing, I would do all of this work on a separate layer and then merge it down to my main painting. Okay. So um, that's how I would do that. Okay. So let me control D to deselect, delete to get rid of that and show you how I did this. So what I did was I made some layers. So here's my um, first layer, which actually I just realized I merged this down. So give me one second here to fix this so I can get this back to where it was. So what I did was I originally had this, oops, I'm trying to do this quickly and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. So I had the dots on their own layer, and I had the tree on a layer, I had the star on a layer, and I had the snow on a layer, and then I had the ground on a layer. And what I did was, was I went and I drew each one of these first. So then I, so I drew the tree, and then I made a new layer, drew the snow, made a new layer, drew the star, made a new layer, drew the ground, made a new layer. Then I made a new layer and I created these dots. And so to make these dots, all I did was I came here to my circle and it can be any shape you want. I just went with dots, but I made a circle and just shift drag makes the circle hit enter. And then I can just fill it with something other than white like so. Okay. 
so that I've got that there. Then I can do Control C, Control V, T, drag it over to where it's out of the way of my stuff, hit Enter to accept it. Then I would make a copy of this layer and then hit T, drag it straight down so that those perfectly aligned. And I do that with the arrow keys so I don't accidentally move it. Just shift arrow, whichever direction you want it to go, we'll move it quicker. And then I merge those so that I had four dots on a layer. Okay. And then I kept that as layer. So then what I did was I would take these dots, all right, and I would clear off everything. And then I would merge them down to this layer. And then I would create, I would go to my stencils and I would go to create stencil from layer alpha. And that made that one. Then I would remove the, I would undo it so that the dots are back on their own one again. I would go to the next one from alpha, the next one, the next one. So basically I would just repeat. I would unmerge the layers, move the dots to the next layer, above the next layer, merge those two together, make the alpha, unmerge them, move it to another layer, merge them, make the alpha, unmerge, move it. So anyway, so it's, it's kind of a tedious thing. It's not too bad. But um, so that way my registration dots are always in the same spots. So the only thing I do is I just move them and then flat merge these two, then save it, and then keep going. Um, so that way it just makes it a little bit easier to do it. So then when I save all these, I then have the stencils with the registration marks. They're all going to be the same size automatically because I made them all at the same time. And they'll work, and then I can just layer them and move them. And that even works if you stretch them around. Like if I stretched the stencil, then I could stretch the other one to just match up the registration marks again. And so I never have to worry about it. Um, so like if I took off the lock ratio, then I can, you know, stretch it and squish it and move it around and then just match these back up, or I can move it around and stretch it, resize it up and down, just keeping the lock aspect ratio. The other one will go the same way. So anyway, just a quick tip on how to make stackable, layerable stencils that you can then use to create multiple, um, create images that, uh, you know, are built up one on top of the other, like the old airbrush stencils. I hope this helps. Uh, for the person that asked this was Mark. If you have questions, if this isn't what you were asking me about, then just get in touch with me and I'll see if I can explain even further on the next one. All right. Thanks.